Hello and welcome back to Dark Souls. So, let's see how many episodes I need. Um, but I forgot an area. <laughs> I totally forgot Ash Lake. Um, luckily I don't need to go there. And honestly, I don't really want to. So let's see. Um, my idea is if I manage to play through the game today, then I won't go to Ash Lake. But if I notice that I need more than one episode, then I will put Ash Lake together with the finale. I think that's a very good plan. And I have also ordered a, a new controller. Because the stiff trick. The, <laughs> the stiff. No, the, the shift stick. That's what it's called. Holy shit. The, the uh, stick. stick drift. Shift stick. What am I talking about? Stick drift. Left stick has stick drift, right. As you can see with my character, that's stuttering around, that's like... I don't know, that annoys me. But in this game I, I'm noticing it the most, to be honest. Uh, in games like Lords of the Fallen I barely notice it. Although sometimes when I just try to stand still my character's just moving forward or... Similar annoying stuff. Sometimes when I try to align my jump, uh, for some reason I jump in a different direction, slightly different direction. And then I can finally try to open this one up because, I don't know. Right now if I screw something up and destroy my controller then I have no secondary, secondary one, but when I have the, when I have the other one then or as soon as I have the, as soon as I have the other one, I can try and fix this one. And who knows? Maybe I have two working controllers then, and I can still use this one, and I will use this one once it's repaired. But I'm currently not brave enough to do that. Now, now we should get the the special cutscene, right? where Sif notices us. Hello. Great, the Holbert is in a way. There's still no reason to fight. There's no reason to fight, for some reason, I don't know. It feels bad, to be honest, to fight him here. But you need to do it in order to progress the game. Thanks for that, Miyazaki. Like, I've beaten Manus already. I've beaten the Abyss. I can beat the Four Kings as well. Um, yeah, Firelink Shrine. I wonder how it works, like how did Artorias make this ring in order to traverse the abyss? 
Like... You would think that I would get the ring by defeating him in the DLC, but no, 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 you have to kill the puppy. Makes no sense to me, but, well, doesn't matter, right? Well, hello again. Hello. I finally located my father. Very nice. All of your help was invaluable to us. Thank you so much. I was finally able to pass on my mother's last words. That's good. My father, he went on his final adventure. Don't worry, that's just the way he is. I'm dead or no. Sort of reassuring, really. If he goes hollow, I'll just have to kill him again. Again. That sounds like, um... Wait, again. You can only go hollow once, so she killed him when he was alive. Don't worry. That's just the way she goes hollow. I'll just... So she... So she killed him once? What? Or can you go hollow multiple times? No, you can't. You... You can't kill sense into people in this game. That's not how it works. I think. Now that shouldn't work like this. So why did she... do that? Why was, th why was there the need of killing him? The first time. I don't understand, please explain. Was he a bad man? Because it doesn't seem like it, but... If she had to kill him... Again... Or... Once before... Yeah. Alright, time for Spooky Town. Oh, right, first this idiot. Goodbye. Any drops? Nope. Good. Uh, I hope I don't fall off this bridge now. I kind of wish there was a bonfire here. This looks like the perfect place for a bonfire. I wonder why there is none. Because when I die, I have to walk back all the way. That's fairly far apart. And, well, I hope I don't die, but I'm, I just might. There are quite a few... Um, quite a few ghosts in here. But who knows? Mm, I also could have done this area a bit earlier. Once I've obtained the Lord Vessel, I could at least explore this whole area. Uh, this elevator is not working currently. It shouldn't work. Oh yeah, they're not dealing any damage. That's good. I like when they deal no damage. There's a wall in the... There's a ghost in the wall now. Let's see, I can head him through. Good. Right, the only thing I need to look out for is currently we have white VFX around the character. Uh, that's the transient curse. The moment the white streak streaks stop and the green take over again from the shield. Um, the transient curse is no longer active and I can't hurt these ghosts. They are um, three different methods of killing these ghosts. 
I'm using the transient cursors, then you can get cursed as well by, for example, the uh, basilisks or by Seif, something else then can curse. I kill two with one attack, nice. Uh, now I'm waiting until the transient curse wears off because uh, I need the. I would like to have the full duration for the next part there. So, well, I can explore underneath. That would be an idea. Because I think there is an item down there. If I remember correctly. If I don't, then, well. I'm officially just waiting. Is there even an item somewhere here? There is not. No, no, no. Alright, uh, first transient curse, second being cursed. But then also your HP are halved, and I don't want that. There's no item here. Oof. And I probably could have cleared the area by now. Oh well. Now I really need to wait until the curse ran out. And the, th and the last uh, thing is using cursed weapon. And I think there are just one or two in the game. I don't... or are there more than the Artorias' weapons? Honestly, I have... do I have a cursed weapon? Doesn't look like it. I, I, I don't know. You, you can't see if, if it's cursed, but... Is that cursed? Nah. Now I'm interested. Uh, if you know what weapons are cursed and able to harm these ghosts without the player needing to use a transient curse or um, being cursed themselves, then let me know. Maybe this shield counts as curse. I don't know. Can this stupid buff wear off? Or at least let me refresh it right now. Because I'm getting quite impatient. How long does it last? Is it like three, five, five minutes or so? Wow, okay. The game wants me to look to the left side apparently. Now the moment I go in here it wears off, right? That's how it works. That's how it always works. Well, let's just play into the comedy. Oh, what a bad timing, who would have thought? Oh. Alright, slit my throat. Doesn't even deal damage. Ah. Barely an inconvenience. Imagine it was like this in game. Oh wait, what did I get? Is it the rare one? Wait, where is it? Huh? Wait. The jagged ghost blade. Is it the rare one or... No, it's not the rare one, right? That's the... Not so rare one. Because there are two different blades you can acquire here. One of them is extremely rare and the other one is rare. I don't think that is the extremely rare one. I think he has the, yeah, this is the extremely rare one. The knife he's using. Come on, what the fuck? Oh, this is a surprise. I get few visitors. Save for ghosts, you have the Lord Vessel. Yes. Very impressive. I know exactly what your intentions are. You seek the four kings whom I guard over. This is the key to the seal. Thank you. The four kings slumber in the deepest chamber of the ruins. Use this key to break the seal and open the floodgates. Oh? And do not forget 
the dark wraiths reside in a dark void called the Abyss. But the Abyss is no place for ordinary mortals. Although, long ago, the Knight Artorius traversed the Abyss. If you can find him and learn from him, the Abyss may prove surmountable. Thanks. I've killed Artorius, by the way. Well, not to aid the Abyss, he was corrupted. Right. Big difference there. Alright, which way do I go now? Is this the wrong way? It's like, nah, I have no idea. I think this might be the wrong way, because if I go this way, and then turn right... No, it was indeed the right way, for fuck's sake. For some reason I thought the, the staircase was inverted. Oh man, the stick drift is aggressive right now, holy shit. Can you see how the character twitches around? If that isn't rage inducing, I don't know what is. I'm getting irritated right now, extremely irritating. Uh, I'm, I'm just trying to... I'm just trying to keep calm because, well... Of course it doesn't help. But I... I mean, I can try once more to violently shake the, uh, shake the stick in the hopes that it... Excuse me, can you stop? For fuck's sake. Who am I aiming at now? Uh, seems to be... Seems to work. Let's see for how long it works. So... Because he gave me the key, I can now open the floodgates. Imagine, like, there's water in here. So, shouldn't the water also flow into the abyss? And how does it work? Is the water being absorbed by the abyss, like the player when he's not wearing the ring? Or can the abyss run full of water? And then, why aren't the four kings dying? Aren't they suffocating? Do they need air? How, do, how does it work? Oh no, you see, there is no water in the boss arena because there's the fog wall in the way. To be honest, fog walls shouldn't be a thing in this game. Like, they, they shouldn't be a canonical thing that exists in the, in the game world. It only exists for the player. So that he so that the player is not leaving or yeah, leaving the boss arena once you're in. At least that's how I would understand um, the arena. The, the, yeah, the, the boss fox or fog walls. Of course the, the, the yellow ones that block passages the, that, that's okay, that's a that exists physically in game. I guess. First Dark Wraith. Where is he coming from? Oh, over there. Right. I can't stagger them. Okay. At least not with the first attack. I need two attacks. Uh, oh well. So that also means I just need to backstab them once and that's fine then. I guess. There you are, back step. That's it, good. Ping that shit up. Then here, how many dark graves? Three? Two or three? And this big sludge ball. Ah oh, shit. Stop blocking. Nope. Uh, he's summoning the skull. At least they don't respawn. Oh. 
Oh, that doesn't do that much damage. Okay. So, two Dark Raves, one in here somewhere. That's the last one. Hello. Oh. That's quite fast. Rude. Ah, okay. Didn't get the the backstab. Big up humanity, then right, here's this one, the staircase that leads to the amber and this item. If I wanted to upgrade a weapon to plus 15, I would need this amber that I'm going to pick up soon. I need that for that. Just run up here. Whoop. There we go. Very large amber. It's not the giant amber or the ginormous. No, it's the very large one. Very large, very large indeed. Alright. Next. Ooh, he can't grab me when I'm down the stairs. That was a gamble. But I guess wouldn't have killed me. But technically should have been fine. here. Let's see what a heavy attack is doing. Can you please... Uh, I mean... Potential trade, but I don't know. I would like to keep some flasks, so... I should keep my the damage to a minimum here. Uh, let's see how that will work out. Hello, Dark Wraith. Oh, now there are two coming. Again. Now let me just use the staircase so they're missing. Hello, you can't fit in here. Uh, not the sludge. That deals damage over time and slows, I think. Like, the slow effect for sure, but damage over time, I think. I think that it does that. Give me that. So the only thing that I am not allowed to forget is equipping the ring once I go into the arena. Or to be sure before I go into the arena. Last Dark Wraith I think. Around the corner here, or in the corner. I forgot I can summon help for this boss fight. Ooh, the dark hand. Nice. Uh, yeah, first ring. Um, da -da 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 -da. Where is it? Covenant of Victorious. Let's get rid of this shit. Don't need that one. Um. Because I'm too heavy anyways, I can put on some more stuff. Uh, let's just go full harvest, I guess. I intend to tank through all the attacks. At least I hope I'm doing that. Alright, there we go. Hello, which Beatrice? Are there no ghosts here? Because if there is a ghost... Is getting stuck sometimes. Let's see. Let's put the two divine blessings in here as well. Fully here. Um, ring is equipped. Let's go. 
There's another dark grave, isn't there? I've heard an armor. Are you okay? She's following me. Good. Um, I don't want to jump down here because I don't know if she will follow me or not. Because she's she's fairly slow. Like you can every time you can jump down on like down the staircase. And if you do it right, you're not landing on these protrusions. Okay, here's the end. Are you ready? I hate this boss so much. Um, because it's so creepy. I find this so creepy, like being in a pitch black area. Where is it? Get over here. Ah, I dodged. Oh, I shouldn't block. Well, I guess I don't need those. Spin the camera around and see if someone spawns. There we go, next one. Ooh, projectiles. Next one, please. You are doing well. I wonder how sh how she's managing to walk here. Do I give her the power with my ring or how is she managing to walk here? Does she have the ring as well? Did she kill Sif in her world as well? Now oh, come on, stop missing. Nice one. Dum -dum. Come on. Last one, please. That's quite far away. Don't you want to grab me or something? No? I don't know what the camera is doing here. Where's my bonfire? Oh, no framed for me. Or not framed, the other one. Don't care. Right, because I placed the Lord Vessel, right? That's the reason. Eh, doesn't matter. Um, da -da -da -dum, Sunlight Altar. Let's go. Do you want to see the Great Hollow? Because I don't. Great Hollow. Oh, yeah, that's the wrong one. Um. Huh? Is it really not a point to teleport to or am I just blind or tired or something in between there? Uh, doesn't matter. Let's level up. Um, twice. Okay, I will show you the thingy. Or will I? Nah. I really don't want to go there. Oh, it's still too heavy. 
don't want to do the maths. Let's see, is this good enough? Hey! We can be a tree sentinel guardian. Hello, you big idiot. You sorry fool. Don't care. I don't want to go down there. It's a terrible designed area. Because apparently in the Great Hollow, all the trees... First of all, is there a tree growing inside of a hollow tree? That's weird. And second of all, why is everything like waxed and uh, super slippery? Like that's, that's the shitty part, that all the branches in there are like uh, soaked. Or something I don't know it's like you're just slipping off every branch and then you die and then you have to restart again that's not fun at least if you want to get every single thing and there are like 20 million crystal lizards down there that all disappear right at the beginning and you have to reload and sometimes that's not working I don't know great holo is just a messy area very underdeveloped in my opinion but well that's just me so is lost isolith as well but i guess with, with isolith they didn't have enough time but with the great holo i don't know maybe the budget wasn't enough or something like that but here we can see all the dead i wonder where this is what is this why is this like the afterlife Probably just a just a physical portal because we are we should be underneath the firelink shrine right now. We just jumped down that hole. And we we just jumped down and straight down and then there was nothing like that anywhere near. So where is this place? We just got teleported. So I, I think this. This white void, there is the teleporter, basically. It's just... it's wormhole or something like that. Uh, just a portal into... Uh, somewhere far away. But it looks very epic. I really like this area, I really like the design. So they have to build this area, and then for for Gwyn to burn himself inside, I guess. Or maybe maybe this is more ancient than Gwyn. It could be the case, but but they made it sound like that this is the first cycle ever. So I guess it was built for Gwyn because this is the first cycle. Or maybe it's not. It doesn't necessarily need to be the first cycle. The first cycle... Like, how do you know when the world ends and at some point starts again? Like, you don't know that it started, that it was once... That it once existed. You don't know that. You didn't exist back then. No one did, so... It doesn't really matter. It's the conclusion. It, it doesn't matter. Ah. The conclusion is it doesn't matter. Could be the first cycle. Could be the tenth millionth mil millionth cycle, whatever. TH is difficult sometimes. Especially with the word depth. Depth deep th that one very difficult and apparently i fucked up um solaire's quest line or i had to visit him back then ah, it doesn't matter a 
It doesn't matter. I should be able to beat... Where is it? His summon sign should be up there. Or is it down here? It should be... Uh, I think it was up there. Or it should have been up there. If I had done his quest line. Or if I've, I had finished his quest line. But this playthrough is a mess and... That doesn't matter. Nope, no summon sign here, no one, no, nothing up there. Time to beat Gwyn. Maybe, I have an idea. Nah, still too heavy. Okay, wait a second. Um, yes. That should work. Amazing. Let's see if this works. Hello. Bling, bling, plong. Oops. Ooh, that must have hurt. Ooh. Oh, no, I can't parry a grab. Kaboom. Yeah, that works. Okay, can bait him with the with the drink. Oh no, second one. But sadly, because I need to un I need to one hand weapon and shield, I don't have enough time there. Apparently, if you if you can one hand your weapon and use it, then you parry, repost, and. As soon as you can, you drink, and then he will do his punishing move so you can parry him again. So, do we link the flame and do everything all over again, or do we go outside? Let's go outside this time, why not? Ooh, I refuse. I am the Dark Lord or something, I don't know. I just like shadow, I guess. My lord, bless thy safe return. Let Karf and Frant serve your highness. We are here to serve your highness. Like, how many are serving me now? All eight or ten? How many that are? How many are there? Let Ten. True dark be cast upon the world. Who's talking right now? Who of you is talking? Our Lord hath returned. For some reason I feel like that was wrong English, but who cares? Luckily this playthrough is over. Luckily for me. Because that means I can finally play another game. Not that I don't enjoy it, but you can definitely feel how old this game is. And, well, I appreciate this game for what it is, or for, for what it was. Um, very important milestone in gaming history. Uh, created the opportunity to create much more Souls-like games. Because Demon Souls wasn't that big. This was the first Souls like that, or Dark Souls or Souls title that got released on PC as well. And, well, also on Xbox and whatever console it is on right now. But Demon Souls was PlayStation exclusive and there weren't that many people playing it back then, so this one pushed the Souls formula into the mainstream. Which is good, 
Like, some people don't like that, or because it's no longer mainstream, and it doesn't mean like, oh, it's no longer cool or something. But the good thing is, when more people are being exposed to the game, there is bound to be someone else trying to replicate it. And that is, that is a good thing. Even if they fail, even if you think the games like Lords of the Fallen, Lies of P, and whatnot there is, even if you don't like them, even if you only like From Software games, or only a specific From Software game, like Souls game, that doesn't mean it's not good that we have other Souls likes. And if you don't know why that's not a good thing, maybe you should maybe think about it. Like, if you have more people trying to create a, the best game possible, or the best Souls-like game possible, then ultimately someone will succeed. And if you say like, oh, Dark Souls was perfect, Demon Souls was perfect. Dark Souls 2 was perfect. No one says that, sadly. But honestly, it was not perfect. It was damn good. Um, or Dark Souls 3 was perfect. No, they're not perfect. They're not the best game ever. At least not for me. Maybe they're for you and that's fine. I'm happy. I'm happy for you, I guess, but... I think, or in every single game that I've played, obviously, there's always something that could have been changed, something that could have been more precise with, something... Well, it's the good old thing where you uh, strive, or where, where you try to reach perfection, and of course it's not possible, even with this game. It's, it, Nothing can be perfect, and I don't want that, but... Well, you can only play the same game so many times until it becomes boring, right? At least for me, I'm, I'm a person, I, I, I don't really like... playing the same stuff over and over and over again. So I'm really glad that there is... a new Souls game... here and there. I really enjoyed Lies of P, even though... It was my favorite one. I really enjoyed Lords of the Fallen, and I'm enjoying it right now. And, well, maybe in the future we'll get the Elden Ring yes, DLC. Indeed. Can you shut up, please? I'm talking. In the future there will be the Elden Ring DLC, and... I don't know, for the Elden Ring DLC I will stop every single project or playthrough that is currently running to, well, to play the DLC. And I probably will do a review or a, not a review, I don't, I don't, I don't really do reviews, but I want to get my, my perspective out there just for me to grow as a person. If people enjoy, that's 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 another plus, I think. But I want to improve my my thinking about games and stuff. I want to improve my opinions, or I myself want to improve in in uh, what's it called? Um, 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 um. I don't know what I want to talk about. I, I, I have no idea what I wanted to say here. Actually, I have an idea, but I don't know how to communicate it. Right, that's it. I want to learn to better communicate my thoughts. That's it. And give better feedback and, and stuff like this. Um, but yeah. That was Dark Souls 1. Fairly short one. I... Did enjoy this game somewhat, but like I said in previous episodes, I think this was my very last playthrough of this game. Um, 
maybe I'm playing through it with mods in the in the future, but not on this channel, probably not. Uh, I don't want to commit to anything anymore, at least not with this game. I, I might, as I said, play around with some mods, but... Well, next game on this channel, next playthrough is going to be Lords of the Fallen. So I hope you like this game because, well, you can look forward to that. I might do a Roads of Lords of the Fallen or something similar to that as well. And then if the DLC for Elden Ring comes out, I will stop everything and start playing that, start making video videos about that. And I guess if I'm through Lords of the Fallen, if I'm maybe through the Elden Ring DLC, then I might play Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3. Not Sekiro, I don't really enjoy that game, even though I like it, but it's it, it's too hard for me. Uh, honestly, like I I, I don't want to try hard it. Honestly, I don't enjoy that, but... Well, we'll see. Long road ahead. I hope you had fun, and I see you in the next video. Goodbye.